Okay, sorry about that. Um, here we go. Take two. This incredibly heavy box from the one and only beautiful, amazing, fantabulous Bexter monkey. Holy beads. It's monkey time. Do the monkey. Let's open this up. I don't have my flamethrower or my chainsaw this time, so we're going to have to use these boring scissors. But let's do this. Let's say hi to our sponsors. Hi! How's everybody doing? Yes, I still have that annoying red, white, and blue uh, post office stripey thing. But hi, B thank you, Bexter Monkey, and thank you, everybody who's here. Uh, we're going to open this together. It's going to be super fun, okay? Okay, here we go. Yay! Yeah. All right. All right. Dun, dun. This one has extra tape. Dun, dun. All right. Oh, yay. More rotocrosite. You guys are going to be getting more beautiful necklaces now. Look at this. When she told me the price on this, I was like, Oh my gosh, this stuff is so expensive, and she got an amazing deal, but it still wasn't cheap. So the fact that I'm get, making necklaces for you guys for so low is a little bit scary, but you guys deserve it because you're the best. Okay. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. Whoa. So almost got a winner of these. <gasps> What? They're little tiny glass. Gorgeous glass. Hand blown multicolored glass uh, cicadas. Are they cicadas? Who knows what they are? Anyway, there's uh, four of them here. Bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap, it's the best. Um. Whoa. Oh my gosh, more of this gorgeous black agate. This is expensive too. I need to charge more for these necklaces. I'm sorry I was charging so little. There's still a few necklaces up with this that are, I need to, I should raise the prices, but you know, you guys just grab them before I, I'll leave them at that price for you because you guys are amazing. But go, go look at the Etsy if you want. So amazing. These are cute. Composite, all different kinds of Imperial Jasper. I wanna learn how to make those kind of stones. Let's crush up different stones and smush them together and do something to make them a single piece. This is, looks like more rhodochrosite or something else, I don't know. Who knows what this is? It's an interesting shape. It has the colors of Unikite, but I don't think it is because it looks almost composite -y, and Unikite is like blendy, like marbled. Ooh, some nice dark pink, some kind of quartzy type. Oh my gosh, there's too many stones in here. I'm gonna go busy. I think they're cherry quartz, they're a little darker even than cherry quartz. Anyway, oh, I love this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just destroying the Ziploc baggies. I'm terrible. Look at this. It's amethyst. It's gorgeous. And look at that oddly shaped heart. That's the coolest thing ever. That is a beautiful piece. I have to make a separate video out of that. Oh my gosh, there's too much stuff here. Too much stuff. I shouldn't be opening this in front of you guys. This isn't fair. 
I'm gonna make all of you sad. I love these. They look like flasks, the shape of them. They look like a flask you drink alcohol out of. I tried and no alcohol comes out of them. But aren't they cool? That's my favorite, the last one. And I like this one in the middle. Some kind of agate. Six millimeter, what I use the most. Oh my gosh. So many ammonite. I'm going to have to really wrap one of these. I don't want to wrap them. They're too beautiful. I just want to stare at them. I want to make a whole... A whole collection like whole store of just ammonite where nobody gets to buy them they just have to look at them. like a ammonite ammonite museum these are extinct fossils can you believe this i can't believe we have access to these like this they're it's ridiculous i think bexter monkey had to mortgage her house and and uh I don't know how she, I mean, she gets the most amazing deals, but I still don't know how she can do this. This is so gorgeous. What are these? Who knows what these are? These are super wild. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That's like a cubist painting. Ooh, I like that orange. Whoa, look at that. Look at that rock formation. That's all crystallized in nature. It's wild. It's like the crystals were having a party. In Ooh, $75. Whoa. I wasn't just supposed to show any price tags. 20 by 40 millimeter rhyolite. This is faceted oval rhyolite. I hope she didn't pay 75 for these, for this one strand. Oh my goodness. Abalone, look at that, space age. I'm telling you, these creatures don't come from this planet. This is from another planet. This is so sci-fi. This makes sci-fi movies look boring. Come on. Don't you wanna get on that spaceship and ride? Is there a song from the 60s about getting on a spaceship and riding? Come on, you want to get on that UFO. You want that to beam you up. You want to get in that saucer, and you want to go to whatever planet they take you to. Look at that. It's like these these um, these um aliens who, who drive these UFOs are more stylish than we are. What is that? If you could put this on a painting, if you could make a painting do this, everyone would buy it. And this is all, this is just nature. I think everything should just be abalone from now. Like the whole world should just be abalone. We're going to call this Matt's crazy abalone. Or we'll call this Matt's abalone abalone. Abalone will be the adjective and the noun. Maybe we'll just call it abalone abalone abalone. For short, we'll call it triple A. And then we'll have to fight the insurance company for the rights to the name. I could just have a channel where I just do this in the camera all day long. I'll just play soft piano music and guitar and do this, and everybody will, like, fade into the most amazing, fascinating dreams about going to other worlds. It's the dawning of the age of the abalone. Time for the abalone. The abalone. And there's more. I'm telling you, I want to learn to paint like this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to learn to make paintings that look like this. I'm just in love with the colors and the patterns. Look at the iridescence. I've got to find out how they make... There's got to be paint that does that, where if you move to the other side of the room... 
the, the colors change. Sodalite or lapis lazuli, I don't care. These are some pretty stones. Look at the blue in that. Look at this one right by my thumb. I think it's sodalite. Although that one looks kind of lapis. That has some gold in it. But that one right there looks very sodalite, right? But you know, it's there. I'm telling you, those two stones, people think they know the difference. They're like, oh no, it's that. You don't think you don't know how much you think you know. Someone said you take it and you you scratch it on sandpaper or like a rough thing. If it comes off blue powder, it's lapis. If it comes off white powder, it's sodalite. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but I just had some uh, lapis sent to someone and they did that test and it came off blue powder. So at least for them, it seemed to work. Look at that one right there. That's gorgeous. Either way, I like both. I mean, I like sodalite and lapis. I like them both. They're both gorgeous. Most people can't tell the difference. Lapis is technically a little bit more high end, a little more expensive, but really like that's, see, I, that I'm pretty sure is lapis because you got the gold flex. These are going to be cute little earrings. Or maybe a bracelet. Oh, they're cute bracelet stones. Like one stone right there. Some pretty silver wrapped around it. Same with this. Nice black agate. Or, I mean, this might be onyx or obsidian. I don't know. I'll have to ask. Ooh, and little baby ones. Now, these are definitely going to be earrings. Or smaller. Oh, look, they have like bands of... This is not pure black. It has, oh, this is like tiger's eye. It has like band, bands of color in there. I don't know if you can, the camera will pick it up. There you go. See that one? See, it has like an iridescent. It's like dark, dark blue tiger's eye. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but it kind of looks like that. This is more, um, I think this is picture jasper. This comes in all these pretty colors. Look at that. Again, this is like looks like a Picasso. They call it, sometimes they call this Picasso Jasper, but I think Picasso Jasper is a slightly different Jasper. This actually this might be Picasso Jasper because like like look at that one right there. Like it looks like a, a painting. Or look look at those two. It's wild though. You get such a wide variety of color. Like, like this stone this red one and this almost white one with a little green and yellow it's the same stone or this like almost pure white with some brown veins like this 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 and this all the same stone really weird like even the same variation of the same stone i love these i i, don't, I forget what they are but they make the prettiest when i get some antique copper wrapped around these oh so hippie earth tone, like they look like dinosaur eggs. Look at me destroying these little babies at block baggies. They're really flimsy, though. You kind of got to destroy them. Look, at that's some beautiful blue tiger's eye. It might be tiger's iron, but... Oh, I forgot to turn my volume down. Sorry, you're going to hear some beeping and stuff. Let's see if I can do that now. There we go. No, down, 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 down. There we go. All right. That's my job here to keep all of you sane. Stay sane. Play with bubble wrap. <laughs> Playing with bubble wrap keeps me sane. I lay down on my back and kick it with all four limbs like a kitten. That's what I do with the bubble wrap after I turn the camera off. Turquoise halite, everybody's favorite.
There's a little bit of dye added to this, pretty sure, but still. People love this. You, you show them authentic turquoise and they, they prefer they prefer this. Seriously, not everyone, but a lot of people. They prefer this, the bright, bright turquoise color. You wrap this in silver, you can have a lot of fun. I don't know, what is this? Ooh, more more of the um more of the flasks. Oh, look at that. I like that. Oh, that one's my favorite. It's too much. Too much. Oh no. Oh no, is this Whoa. This is amethyst faceted. Look, oh my gosh. No way. No way. Look at that one, That that is gorgeous. Look at look at the um the banding on that one in that one. Oof. And of course more bubble wrap. Oh yay. Alright, let's take a break. You guys just stare at the box and try to imagine what's next. Look at all this stuff that I unwrapped already. It's actually it's actually Daxter Hippie. Her real name is um Her real name is Daxter Funky. She just disguises herself so people can't find her. You guys have a sweet cream cheese stuffed pretzel. No, you don't. I bet none of you do. <laughs> I bet that's what makes you most jealous of all. Look at these. She sent me these. That, what does that mean? I'm going to be making kits for you guys. In fact, there's some kits right now on the, on the Etsy. I'm going to lower each one by five. I'm going to lower each one five bucks. So go to the Etsy and get them. But now I'm going to make more for you guys. These are great. They're great little... Like, I I um, I um take some of them and just portion out my own beads for when I'm making stuff. Because they're just... It's so easy to section stuff off on these little things. It, they I get them at Dollar Tree. Um, not every Dollar Tree has them, but they're usually in the hardware section. You can order them online too. It's it's called Toolbench Hardware Storage Case. But um, they're so so she threw in a few for me because she knew the the one dollar tree I was buying them for flooded and had to shut down, and now I was I've been ha trouble having trouble trying to find more of these. So she just sent some to me because she's so kind and caring, kind and caring, and whoa. Findings, yay, I love findings, all anti-copper. Let's open this up. Become pretty skilled with the scissors on plastic. Watch the dexterity. Observe the skill level and be jealous. Ooh, they're all individually wrapped too. This person isn't playing around. Usually you order stuff online and all these things are bouncing around, getting in the wrong section. 
the whole thing opens up on you while you're trying to unwrap. Ooh, this thing is tight. Fun, right? We're going to make some fun earrings for you guys. Really fun. Oh, look how cute some of these are. I love this case, too. I was just bragging about those other cases. This case is, like, not joking. Carnelian. Nope. I'm wrong. Red stripe agate. Okay. Fine. I love these stones. Ooh, this is Picasso Jasper. I know it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to make you guys like 400 necklaces. Can I make you 400 necklaces this weekend? I know you guys have been coming to all these live shows and you're so amazing, but promise me this Sunday you're going to come because the Halloween show, everybody had a lot of fun, but we didn't hardly sold any Halloween. <laughs> we sold a few Halloween things. There's still Halloween things up. I'll lower the prices on those two. Go grab them while it's still Halloween. Well, you can still get them before um, Halloween so you can wear them. I'll lower the prices a ton on the Halloween stuff, but please come this Sunday. Please, please, please. We might start early, like 11 a.m. Might go like 11 a.m. to like eight o'clock at night, but please come Sunday and watch our live show and stock up Everybody's getting upset with me. They're like, you can't give away necklaces this low. Nobody's ever going to take you seriously when you go back to regular price. And I'm like, as long as people keep wanting them, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to keep giving away $25 necklaces for $10. And I'm going to make them right there in front of you. With And I can only do this because Bexter Monkey gives me... Each of these stones would be more than $10 alone. If she didn't find these amazing deals... Not all of them. Some of them would be like five bucks a stone. Some would be seven bucks a stone. But like, there's no way I could wrap them with wire and sell them for 10. There's no way I could do it for you guys if I had to buy these myself. Not only does she find the best deals on earth, and don't ask her how to do it. It's like a skill. It takes years. She'll tell you just go to, just go to eBay and develop relationships with all the big sellers. Easier said than done. You know, she's a master at it. But don't ask her for tips because she'll just be like, just do it. Like, she just had to figure it out herself. But um, she's amazing at it. And, and that's the only reason why I can do this for you guys. But I also thank you because just watching, just you guys watching makes me so happy. I don't care if you buy anything. Just watch. Look at the, uh, what is this? I don't know what it is. It's gorgeous. I mean, I got to make a bracelet with these. Silver. What are these? What what are they? I really don't know. They're so beautiful. And I, I usually, like, ch weird shaped chips are not my favorite because they're usually drilled in all weird places and make it hard to work with. But these are, like, perfect. They're just weird shaped enough, but the hole is placed pretty much through the center of each one. Charlite? I don't know. I love these, and I want to make a bracelet. I have to make... I'm going to spend the rest of this evening making stuff. Just... Should I go... Should I go live again when I make everything so you can watch? I hope... I hope you guys want to come back. Ugh, more... More... This is not fair. This... Everybody's going to be mad at me, Baxter Monkey. I can't... I, you can't put this much in one box. People are going to start being angry at me. It's not... They're going to say it's not fair. It totally isn't fair. They're going to say, where can I find me a Baxter Monkey? I'll be like, you can't. God only made one, and he was like, oh my gosh, that's enough. Like, woof, we put way too much, way, way too much skill into this one. That's got to take a break. Look at that. Look at, there's purple in that. So I think I'm, we might have a little special treat on Sunday. It won't be just necklaces. I think we might throw in something extra, too. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It'll be a surprise. I think Tatiana is going to be coming back. For, she's been doing bear wrestling all week, 
and she just won the national championship again this year. So I think she's going to be coming back from Siberia, and she's going to be with us. Now that's some tiger's eye for you. I don't know what this is, but I love this shape. I wish I had more stones this shape. I get a lot of oval and I get some teardrop, but this is like, I call it like a lemon shape. I used to cut wood into this exact shape all the time and then burn patterns and it make earrings. Just thin, flat wood I would cut into. I call it like a leaf shape. It's kind of like a leaf. It's kind of like a, um, a lemon. I don't know. I like it. Ooh, this is this is definitely some lapis. Look at this. What's this happening? Whoa. Ooh, I just found a really cool way to wrap this donut. Look at this amethyst. I wasn't really into the donuts for a while. I did a whole video on donuts and I really didn't like wrapping them, so I just actually went to Dunkin' Donuts and got some donuts and wrapped them and then I ate them. But I found a, I saw someone posted on the Matt's Crazy Art Facebook page a really cool way to wrap one of these. I think I want to do it. Still don't know what these things are. Definitely, definitely pink dinosaur eggs. You can't get a box like this. This doesn't happen in life. I don't know how this happened. It's just weird. But you can get the kits. I have the kits online. Um, this is not exactly a kit. This is just my beads I put in for me to work with. But they're in a container like this. Let me show you some kits. Because... All the stones that I don't end up using from this giant box, they go into these kits. Every kit has a theme. This one's full moon. And it is jam-packed with beads, with pieces to make earrings, tons of big stones, little stones, tiny beads, medium beads, all semi-precious. There's a few glass, but it's almost all semi-precious. And, and that's just half the kit. This thing weighs like a brick. Because in here is all the giant pieces that you can add to make each one of these can be a, a necklace. And I mean, look at that one. That one alone was given to me, not by Bexter Monkey, this other woman. She gave me a collection of her cabochons that she had been collecting for like 30 years. And literally, I had to pull the, peel the price tags off of them. They're literally $35 and $45 price tags on the single stone. I'm not making that up. I was shocked. She sent them to, she, I think she hurt her hand and she couldn't wrap anymore and she just wanted them to go to a good cause and she sent me like a box of them. So I'm able to put these online for like a third what they're really worth. All right, let me, uh, I'll show the Etsy real quick. But there's still like, there's like, uh, Still like eight kits up that haven't been bought right now. I don't want to feel like I'm in I'm in QVC here, but um, again, we use all this money. Like I'm wearing those same pair of jeans. Like I just wash them and wear them. I have one pair of jeans. During the summer, I have like one pair of cargo shorts. I have the same black t-shirt and like 10, 10 black t-shirts. Like I don't, I'm telling you guys, I don't spend any of this money on myself. I just use it to buy more jewelry and art supplies. I'm, I'm ordering the kiln probably today because of thanks to you guys, I saved up enough money for the kiln. And then I'm going to order the clay and the glaze and make some really fun pottery videos for you guys because get this.
not only is Baxter Monkey like so generous, both of us, not knowing each other years ago, we both worked at a pottery studio, a community arts pottery studio, totally different states, but we both worked at one for years. We both spent years doing ceramics. Neither one of us has been able to do ceramics lately. And, I, and like the studio I go to is shut down with the whole shutdown. So now I'm building, for the first time, I never thought I could do this. I'm building my own studio in this store. So I'm getting a kiln, I'm getting the clay. And like you guys don't realize, you only see me do jewelry. Like I developed an entire style of ceramic vases years before I ever touched jewelry like years before I ever touched jewelry. Um, this is a really fun one. This is super fun. I have no idea what it is. Really cool though. Yeah, I made, I, I started jewelry by making clay jewelry. I started making ceramics. I went from vases to making ceramic pieces. And then I slowly got, it took me years to even get into wire wrapping. I was doing ceramic jewelry, then I was doing wood jewelry. Look at these babies, look at these babies. I love how cold they feel. Real stone and glass always feels so cold to the touch. Heavy and cold. Like your ex, no. <laughs> yep, I already, I'm looking right here. You can't see it, but right here is where I'm going to have the pottery studio, the the kiln, and the and the slab roller table, and a couple tables just completely wrapped in uh, what's it called? Completely wrapped in canvas so that you can work with the clay, and the canvas absorbs the moisture. So the clay you can't work with clay on like a shiny table because the clay will keep sticking to the table. You need like a canvas table. Some more abalone. I'm telling you, this is just going to be the abalone channel. You could just stare at this all day, couldn't you? I, I almost want to be like, I, it sounds terrible. Don't be mad at me. Promise you're not going to be mad at me. Promise uh, I'm going to tell you something crazy. I almost feel like I want to start a group. Like, like uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but... You know, there's a group that was started like by this guy in the 50s and he was a science fiction novel writer and he just wrote about like other planets and creatures and, and volcanoes and stuff and he was a prolific writer. He wrote more books than almost anybody and he started this whole group and he made this whole thing about, this. first he started with self-improvement and then he got into stuff like, you know, people jumping in like uh like spirits coming out of volcanoes and other nutty stuff. I feel like I could start a group like j just all about al abalone and we could name the abalone and we could say they come from different planets and we could name the planets and we could have like a whole mythology behind it. And if you get up really high in the group, you learn the story about, you know, the abalone and everything. And then, and then if you get really high in the group, well, we, we won't do those mean things where they, they tell you you can't leave and all that stuff. You got to give them all, give them money and junk like now nah, we'll be nice. But I mean, we could do that. Like, right guys? Maybe. We'll call it, call it the abalone -tology. That's what we'll call it. Oh my gosh. There's more. I feel like Billy Mays, but wait, there's more. We'll call her Bexter Monkey Maze. Look at this one. Look at that. That's a piece of art right there. Ebony and ivory go together in perfect harmony. Side by side on my black, beautiful agate. Baby, why can't we...
Permagers. Ooh, teardrops. Teardrops on my shoulder look so lovely. Teardrops in my eyes means that I cry. You should feel how heavy these are. And a box, my favorite, a box. More bubble wrap. Cherry quartz, more cherry quartz. Oh my gosh. Cherry quartz in all the best sizes. Four millimeter. Six millimeter. Eight millimeter. More eight millimeter. The best. Ooh, look, there's a surprise in this box. There's two Cabochon Rose Quartz. You like the words? The words that are made up? Hey, it's good to open a box again. When we all get together on the live show, open a box. Feels like the long lost friends. Hey, sure is good to open a box with you again. There's another fun tiger's eye. That's like regular tiger's eye mixed with blue tiger's eye, I think. A little of both, a little of everything. More Picasso Jasper, six millimeter. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't believe there's this much. She said she was sending quite a bit, but this, no, I can't. These, these um, teardrop amethysts make the prettiest necklaces. Look, can you believe that's amethyst? I would never thought that was amethyst, but it's on the same strand. But look at, look at that. Whoa, look at. I mean, that's amethyst with character. This is an amethyst that was raised in a rough childhood. This is not like a, a prissy silver spoon fed amethyst. This, this amethyst had some rough edges. It, it, it learned, it grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. It developed a lot of character. It's strong. It's got some edge. It's got a little bit of, little bit of other stone incorporated. This amethyst wasn't accepted by the other amethyst, and it said, I don't give a flying amethyst behind about that because I'm the coolest. And now it gets on stage and everybody screams, I love you, amethyst. I love you, imperfect amethyst with a little bit of brown in there. Whoa, look at this one. This one is like, really doesn't care what people think does its own thing, lives its own life, does not care what you think. Wow, look at that zigzag. What do they call that zigzag? They call it a, a what do they call it? Revlon? They call it Revlon. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Revlon. That's another one that grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. That's a tough amethyst. You don't mess, you see that amethyst in a dark alleyway, you walk the other way. You see this amethyst coming with a whole bit, whole gang of other amethysts that look like this and you, you turn around and you go back the way you came. That's cool. Now that's a pretty one. Uh, that's another one, that's, wow. You have no idea what's going on here. Is it amethyst? Is it something else? Whoa, what is happening here? Now that's just straight up pretty. Camera decides to stop focusing all of a sudden. That's a pretty one. Whoa, that's different, very different. That's really different, look at that. Straight purple on the bottom and then crazy wildness on top.
Whoa, that's different too. Uh, that's straight up pretty. That's pretty with a little, a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of a misty white on the side. That's pretty. Little edge at the bottom. That's very different. Whew. I feel like we've even experienced the amethyst together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. I thought we were done. I thought we were done. Stop it. This is not fair. And look at these. Even more character. Okay, remember what I said about the last one on that strand that was had a lot of character? Look at this. Look at this. That's like a virtuoso. Well, there's Papa Amethyst. Don't mess. Mm -hmm. Papa Amethyst looks out for all the other amethysts in the village. There's Mama Amethyst. She's sweeter. She's she's sweeter, but she's very kind. And that's different. That's cool. Whoop. Come on, focus camera. That's pretty. That's just straight up pretty. That's just a pretty one. This one's like this is like the the um the the um beauty contestant amethyst. This is the one that went on to the become represent all the amethysts for her state. Ooh, that's a really clear one. Ooh, that's just straight up pretty. Look at that. Look at that orange, almost reddish orange band coming through there like that. That's different. That's cool. Whoa, whoa. That's just crazy. Whoa, whoa. So many questions, right? Are they hand cut as a machine? That's a lot. Of, I have a lot of questions too. Look at that one's adopted. That one's like, you can join our family. You can be part of our amethyst family. Sure, we'll feed you. Don't worry. We love everybody. This one, this one knows it's adopted. It's got to know. That one's half amethyst. It's, a, it's mama was an amethyst and it's, it's pop-up was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Ooh, midnight. Again, all my favorite sizes. Four millimeter, six millimeter, eight millimeter. Is it black glass? Is it black agate? Is it onyx? Is it obsidian? I don't know, but it's cold and heavy. Cold and heavy. Cold, heavy, and dark. Just like the, the novel I'm writing. All right, you guys don't want to see anymore. Should we go? Should we call it a day? You want to see the rest? I feel like we should just call it a day. I'm going to go drink some water. Tell me if you, you want to finish the box or if you're getting bored. Okay, what did you guys decide? All right, we'll keep going, keep going. More. Actually, I think that's agate. It looks a lot like the Picasso Jasper, but I think that's agate. More of these dinosaur eggs, these pink ones. Ooh, you think those might be garnet? 
All right, let's put these dinosaurs. Oh, that's a pretty one right there by my thumb. Look, look at all that color in there. Um, should we hold these? Let me hold these up to the light. See if I see any red tint. Oh, I can't tell. Baxter Monkey will tell me. She'll watch this video and be like, you, you called them all the wrong things. What are you doing? Picasso Jasper Nuggets. Nuggets. That's a pretty one right there. Ooh, that one's almost a teardrop. That's going to be a cute necklace. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Ba da 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 Woo, look at that tiger's eye and blue tiger's eye and yellow tiger's eye. Whoa, that's a cool one. That's like really cool. That's about as cool as it gets for this kind of stone. Look at that. It's like you get the blue, you got the yellow fire coming up. And then you got like the forest and then it must be California. Look at that fire above there. That's terrible. I shouldn't say that. It's like a green sky. Look at that though. It looks like it looks like the wheat field. And then there's a forest in the background, and then there's the fire. And here's the lake in the front. I think it's yellow tiger's eye and blue tiger's eye kind of mixed. Yeah, I guess it could kind of be mountains. Misty. I get misty just holding this stone. Dreamlike. Oh, here's another one. Whoa, that is pretty. Lapis. Just probably keep them in the bag so they don't get broken. I'll try not to break them. That is so pretty. Look at that. The camera doesn't even do it justice. There's like red and pink and peach scratched out across the green and brown. I feel like like if you're in a helicopter going over the rainforest, you'd be like, oh, and this is where the the, the orange sand trails come out. There's a little bit of black brownish mountain in there and then you see the you still see the rainforest in between. It's like you're you're flying over a over a like a map of the land. More of this looks black, but it's got a little bit of blue tiger's eye in there. Cool earrings. Okay, I'm not buying anything from the store, from any art stores for like a year now. This is going to keep me busy. I love this black striped Jasper. Black and white. It makes great men's bracelets. I would just put a strand of these. Maybe a little bit of, uh, what's it called? I'd mix these with a little bit of black lava stone and a little bit of tiger's eye beads and just make beaded men's bracelets. Boom, like men would wear them with suits. They were so elegant. I'd sell them, literally, I could sell them for 20, 25 bucks each, just a stretch bracelet with these stones. And men would just, boom, during the holidays, just sell out. I, some men would, would put four or five of them on their wrist. 
like, I'm not joking. Like, they keep coming back to me. There's a big old amethyst. That's Papa Amethyst. I mean, not amethyst, uh, abalone. Whoosh, whoosh, ah. That's Planet Abalone. You guys gonna join my abalone group? It's a nice group. We won't compel you to do anything. You just you just learn the stories, the mythology of where each planet abalone exists, and we'll take the the people who come from the abalone planet and they jump in the volcano and then their and then their essence flies off and turns everybody into an abalone. We'll get iridescent paint. You can come to the party and paint yourself with iridescent paint and dance around and be all crazy. Nothing weird. Nothing. It won't be weird. Don't worry. Totally normal. Now that is straight up agate. And it's beautiful. It's another tiger's eye with blue tiger's eye. Ooh, that's another pretty one. Look at that. different that's very different very different that almost whitish yellow and then the dark band of olive green and then it just jumps into this you know that happened that was different layers of totally different stones that just formed together and someone cut it across the rock like that and then just no person would stick those colors together that's wildly almost wildly weird colors but it's all natural it has to be i mean that is so wild look at that we i've never seen anything quite like that you'd have to tie it together with like an antique copper like a a, a color that would bring all those colors together because those are wildly those are not colors that blend together easily it is like a fish right don't worry tidbits we'll bring all these out later maybe i'll I'll make some necklaces tonight we'll go live again whoa look at this one look at that gold in there that gold flaky stuff what is that is that all natural do people put that in there or is that like nature I need to know. I, I don't know this. Teach, educate me. If I'm going to be your um, fearless leader of the abalone group, that's it's it's not a it's not a bad thing. We're not going to do any of those compulsory things. We're just going to be a happy group with, full of mythology about the abalone planets. We'll write a lot of science fiction novels. I'll I'll, I'll get a boat and go out to sea and dress up like a captain of a of a navy and pretend that i was a navy hero and stuff and it won't be anything weird it won't be weird at all That is a beautiful lapis. Look at that. I, Kay, I think I am. I think I am going to go live later tonight. And maybe I'll just put the music on and, uh, and just make pieces again. You guys can just hang out with me. Talk to yourselves. Talk, to, talk amongst yourselves. Join the abalone group. We'll write up a whole bunch of rules. This looks like moss agate. I don't think it is, but... Yay. Ooh, one more lapis. 
Yay. Ooh, some cute little tiger's eye nuggets. Ooh. There's some pretty ones. Look at that. Every kiss begins with K. Bye, K. Nope. This looks kind of like moss agate, too. I'm not sure if it is, though. It's some 10 millimeter. This is going to be good for our group, our abalone group. You guys have to help me write all the stories of, of the abalone, the abalone universe. Now that is fiery red. Look at that. Whoosh. It's a fiery red agate. Wow. That is really pretty. Look at that. It's a different shape, too. It's all, like, uneven and, and natural, and then, woof, straight line. It's very different. I like it. Another abalone. Some kind of pink something or other. I don't think it's cherry quartz. It's it's too dark, and it's not see-through enough. Some kind of pink something or other. There's more of it. I think this is the same stuff. Although this this looks like it could be dyed. Uh, this looks natural. Like look at the formations in that. That looks like some agate, right? The banding in some of that. All right, guys, that's the end. Thank you for hanging out. We have two minutes left. We'll cut it off right at an hour. I should be back later tonight. We'll make some pieces together. You guys can hang out with me, okay? Much later, like, I don't know, maybe five or six hours from now. Just turn on your order for car charge. Hit, hit that little bell thingy so you can get the order for car charms. Okay. Woo. Order for car charms. Order for car charms. See you guys soon. My eyes are itchy. Nerd of car shirts. I'm going to do a workout video later too. So so join the workout thing. I also have to check in with the 30 day people. I haven't checked in for like four days or more maybe. So we'll do a check in. We'll do a workout video. We'll lift some weights. Everybody get healthy. You don't have to lift weights. You can just get healthy. If you just shimmy in place while the video plays, you'll feel healthier. Put on some uh, Latin music. Dun 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 dun. Ole. Dun 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 dun. All right. See you guys. See you soon. Take care. Got ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven. It's like the New Year. Six, five. See you soon. Bye.